it's Joe Tamargo from WetHeadPumpRepair.com. All right, welcome back to another special edition of the Hayward Super Pump Rebuild with Joseph Jr. All right, so we're back, and what we're going to do now is we're going to remove, continue removing the wet end of the pump and separating it from the motor section. All right, so Joseph Jr. is going to use a socket, and he's going to loosen these two bolts. He's got the top one, and he's got a bottom one. So here we go. Go ahead, sir, loosen those bolts up. Now, once the bolts get a little loose, Joseph Jr. will show you that you can use your hands to loosen them, right? All right, so there you go. He's got that bolt loose, and now what he's going to do is he's just going to use his hands to loosen this bolt. Nice job. All right, there you go. So now, remember, we've already removed the bolts from the other side, so if you just got this this part right now, and you're like, okay, what the hell? You know, there you go. We've already removed these two bolts. There's two bolts on each side. you got two bolts on each side. Uh, now, Joseph Jr. is removing the last bolt, as you can see here. Let me get a close-up. There you go. Just like that. He's like, hey, you put the camera in front of me. I can't see. And then there was also a bird fight in my backyard as we were filming this. It's weird, right? Like, you don't see a bird fight too often, but it's the beginning of summer, and uh, they're just, you know, they see a little bit of pieces of bread on the floor, and they get all crazy about it. Some would say they're rebellions, and others would say it's the natural way of the hierarchy of the universe. Now, getting back to the pump, and Robert's actually dazing out on this. Getting back to the pump, Junie is using it up. Now, remember, after, it, after it's loose a little bit, Okay, there you go. Just loosen up just like that. There you go. Okay, now try using your hands. Okay, that bolt is loose. Just use your hands on that one. Okay, so there you go. As you can see now, he's just using his hands. It's a little tough sometimes, and sometimes it's a little tricky, but, you know, just stick with it. Just like that. There you go, buddy. Keep going. There you go. Nice, nice. Sometimes it's a little hard to turn because, you know, you get got a little salt water if you live near the ocean. You know, stuff like that. So what you can also do is you can separate... You can separate your socket here, like this, and you can put this on there. Here, show them with this. You put this on there, and then just spin that with your hands. Yeah, just like that, right? Perfect, yep. Just like that. See, is that a little bit easier? There you go, right? You might want to do that the whole way, though, because this sometimes the bolts get a little stubborn, and you just want to do that. So just keep turning all the way until the bolt comes all the way out. There you go, nice job. Keep going. You keep going, nice job, nice job. All right, so there you go. It's almost got it out. And sometimes, like I said, you know, we do these videos live. We do them with all different people. You've seen Lucas. You've seen Robert. Uh, shout out to Lucas and Robert. Uh, I think those guys own their own pump shops now. Nice job. There you go. He's got that bolt out. Okay, so now what he's going to do, he's going to demonstrate. He's going to get a hammer here. Now, you don't want to go crazy. You know I mean? Remember, he's a nine-year-old child. And not that we're saying that he's not strong and powerful because he's a good man. But, like, if you're an adult watching this, don't take your hammer and be like, oh, that, I've seen that guy. He's not a guy. He's just a kid. So don't, like, take this thing and swing on it, right? Like, it's a high school batting event. But go ahead. Give it a couple shots there, Jins. And keep going. A little harder. And as you can see, as he moves it harder, the motor will separate just like that. There you go. See that? All right. Good job, man. And now what you're going to do now is, you can see now, if you take the hands to the back of the motor, go ahead. I'm going to pull this back. You pull the front. Okay, so you can see that now. We're going to just pull this, and there you go. It separates just like that. All right, and the last thing I'm going to show you, I'm going to push this back on the bench here. Okay, so now you can see that this motor and pump is separated just like that. All right, so go ahead. What I want you to do now, show them real quick, pull this diffuser off. Just go ahead and pull that right off. That diffuser pulls right off. There you go, just like that. All right, when you go to put it back together, you can see right here it says top. You see that? It says top there. And also over here, it says, it says top as well. All right, so there you go. That is how you separate your Hayward Super Pump section. Thank you for, uh, for Joseph Jr. for tuning in, man. It's been cool. It's been fun. All right, so we'll see you in the next video where we're going to remove the impeller and show you how to do that. Thanks for watching. Peace.